We always say that the plants are very important for all of us. They are the main source of food. We get fruits and vegetables from them. So what are these fruits and vegetables? We know the green plants make their own food. Some food is used by them for their own growth. But what happens to the extra food left behind? Plants don't have refrigerators like us to store their food. So what do they do with that extra food? Different plants store the extra food in different parts of them. Some plants store the extra food in the fruit like in the mango tree. The extra food prepared by the tree is stored in its mango fruit and we all love to eat mangoes. In the story we saw the veggie monster thought the roots are useless and hence he didn't want the roots as his share. But he was surprised to know that the carrots which we eat are actually the roots same way radish, beetroot, turnip are all roots. Observe all these roots carefully. They are all swollen unlike the roots of other plants. So why are the roots of these plants swollen? Let us try to understand this. The carrot, radish, beetroot, turnip plants store their extra food in their roots and hence it becomes swollen and we eat these roots that is the extra food of the plant. Can we eat stems of certain plants? Yes, in the story the monster was surprised to know that potatoes are actually underground stems that we eat. The potato plant stores the extra food in its underground stem. Hence the stem becomes swollen and we eat it as potato vegetable. Same way ginger is also an underground stem which we use in our food. From which part of the plant we get sugar? We get sugar from the juicy stems of the sugarcane plants. Similarly in the story, the monster thought the leaves were just meant for plant eating animals like the goat. But we humans also eat many kinds of leaves as vegetable. The cabbage, coriander, spinach, mint, all are leaves of different plants. In fact, tea is also a leaf of the tea plant. Are flowers just good for smelling and seeing? No, we also eat certain flowers as vegetables like the cauliflower and broccoli. Surprising, isn't it? You may find it strange but the vegetables are actually these different parts of the plants which we eat like leaves, stem, roots and even flowers. Like the monster in the story, many of us think seeds cannot be eaten. But actually our main food that is cereal and pulses consists mostly of the plant seeds. The monster was shocked to know that the rice was actually the seed of the rice plant. Not just rice, the various cereals like wheat, maize, barley are also the seeds of the plants. Even the pulses we eat along with the rice or chapatis like gram, peas, beans, kidney beans 
are the seeds of various plants? How about coffee? Any guess? We get coffee from the seeds of the coffee plant. Many nuts we eat like cashew nuts, almonds, walnuts, pistachios are also seeds. Spices that add flavor to our food like pepper, cardamom, cloves, chili etc also come from the plants. A spice is nothing but a dried seed or a fruit or a root or a stem of the plant. So we see the various parts of the plants like the stems, roots, leaves, fruits, seeds are not only important to the plants for its growth but also for us as we eat many of these parts of the plant as our food. So plants are very important for us and we should take care of plants. Bye bye children.